They think we are all stupid. They think we are all cattle like sheeples. And many people are sheeples. Allow themselves to be led and lied to and used. The lowest learner, I plead the Fifth Amendment scandal about how conservative groups were targeted at the behest of the dictator in chief. You can guarantee yourself that he was all knowing and he was all approving of exactly how that all went down and transpired. So what I'm going to show you here is something you should already know. But if you don't, you will know. This lady, the IRS, says that this lady, Lois Learners, emails and all that stuff, well, we just lost them. We can't find them. Hey, they lost. I don't know where they went. They were here a minute ago. Hey, you seen them? Anybody seen Lois's emails? What a load of crap. What we have here is said uh, this according to this article here. One month after the Congress is held, Miss Lerner in contempt for refusing, flat out refusing. I take the fifth. I'm not saying nothing. No, I'm above the law and I'm protecting the people that put the bread on my table. They grease my palm and I do what I'm supposed to do and I don't owe you anything. Well, the IRS told Congress Friday it lost over two years worth of crucial emails between her and various federal agencies. It's because she had a computer crash and they all just went away just disintegrated into cyberspace, never to be heard for, found again. The fact that I'm just learning about this over a year into the investigation is completely unacceptable and now calls into question the credibility of the IRS's response to congressional inquiries, said the House Ways and Means Committee Chairman, David Camp. It needs to be an immediate investigation and forensic audit by the Department of Justice as well as the Inspector General. And in another press release, Steve Stockman asked the NSA, the director, Michael Rogers, to release the metadata. See, they don't know that you know about metadata. Yeah, if they're spying on everybody, they're keeping a copy of everything. And it goes into a big storage yeah. Yeah, they got metadata. Oops. They must have forgot they had metadata. The metadata will establish who she contacted and when. Which investigators helps the investigators determine the extent of the illegal activity by the IRS. And in Rogers' email, Stockman wrote, He is writing to request the agency produce all metadata. It has collected on all of her email accounts between January of 2009 and April 2011. The data may be transmitted to our communications director at this address. Your prompt cooperation in this matter will be greatly appreciated and will help establish how IRS and other personnel violated the rights other IRS establish how the IRS and other personnel violated our rights, violated all Americans' rights, protected by the First Amendment. The IRS said it was able to gather 24,000 of our emails that had been copied to other employees within the IRS. However, the vital missing emails are communications that were sent to agencies outside the IRS, which just happens to include the White House, the Treasury, the Department of Justice, the FEC or Democratic offices. 
it just happened to lose them. Yeah. In the House Oversight Committee Chairman, ISA, implied the Obama administration has been deceptive in this sudden revelation of missing emails. Do you really think they've been deceptive? Yeah. The guy that said it was going to have the most open White House, every bill that they passed, you know, was going to be posted, and you were going to get to see it in advance before it ever went through so you could read it and know exactly what was going on, right? Yeah, that was a crock. Do they really expect the American people to believe that after having withheld these emails for a year? They're just now realizing the most critical time period is missing. <laughs> yeah. Just that critical time period just happens to come up gone. The IRS has remained focused on being thorough, responding as quickly as possible to the wide-ranging requests from Congress while taking steps to protect Underlying taxpayer information reads the IRS BS statement. Yeah. Yeah, these, the White House and the Treasury, the Department of Justice, other Democratic offices, those emails just happened to come up missing. I don't know where they're at. Did you look under the table? Maybe, maybe they fell off out of the computer, you know, and they're underneath your desk. Yeah. What a load of... You know what? This is just another example of the corruption that is allowed to run rampant that is instigated at the highest level, which is the president, which is our dictator. This person who calls himself president, we really don't know who he is because he never supplied a legal document. He never did. We can go into this birther all you want to, but the truth is it was not a legal document. None of the information of it is accurate. <clears throat> so, you got yourself a fraud. He should be impeached. He has broken so many laws. There is so many things to impeach, but you see your Congress is just as bad. They're on the take, too, and they answer to their masters also. Yeah. That's why none of them's got one half of a nut in their sack to stand up and charge this guy and get him impeached and removed from office. And it wouldn't stop with him. You would have to re remove Joe Biden, too. Yeah. And hey, how about, didn't, didn't he make some kind of statement here in the past? You know, it's been a while, but I think he said that uh, they envisioned Iraq being, like, cut into three pieces of the pie. Something like that, you know. So keep that in mind that, Say it ain't so, Joe did say that sometime. I'm pretty sure I remember him saying that. But this corruption is evil. Totally evil. Our country is being destroyed in front of our very eyes at a, at a rate much, much quicker than we've ever seen before. We've seen a decline in things. A, a beginning of a decline, but this is accelerated destruction. And when you when you take a look at the immigration, uh, we've been battling this influx of uh, you know mostly Hispanics over the years coming into the country. And now you see all these children, and now the mothers and stuff, and you know, family members. It is being allowed. And I, I don't blame any of them if they're good people. You know, if they're members of the gangs down there in Central America and stuff, or they have any gang ties or anything, then we don't need them. We don't want them. But I can understand wanting to come to America to get out of the 
crap place that you live. But we're in dire straits. We don't have enough jobs for our own people. We can't feed our own people. All different kinds of things. We are stretched to the limit and we're getting ready to burst. And that's just how it's going to go. Now this is all orchestrated and it's purposeful. He wants to pass his agendas before he's gone. He wants all these forms of destruction of this country done before he's gone. So he's going to prey on people by showing children. And then we don't want to keep them separated from their families, so we have to reunite them with our families, right? That's how it's going to go. That's going to be the argument. Fairness. You know, family and such. Remember back in the old days? Maybe you don't. But people used to come here in the right way. It had a place called Ellis Island. And people that wanted to come here for starting a new life, you know, a land of hope and freedom and opportunity. You could be someone. You could have something. They did it the right way, and it can be done the right way. They set up Ellis Island. Everybody was processed. You know, you were checked for diseases and such not. And then you're allowed to go into America and assimilate into our culture. You know, learn our language, learn our history, learn our ways, be a part of America. But the people that they're coming in that are illegal, they're not coming in the right way. They're just coming in the wrong way. And the majority of them don't really want to be Americans. They want to be what they are in America. And they want a job, and they want some money, and they want some food, and they want some free stuff. Not all of them, but a majority of them. They don't want to really learn our language. They don't really want to learn our culture or history or anything. And that's all a part of destroying who America really is. Reshaping it into something that it was never intended to be, into the destruction of it. So that it becomes something that you don't want. All different things we can go into. And the gas line over in the Ukraine. They have dueling pipelines. So they're still pumping uh, the gas to where it needs to be going. But isn't it uh, you know, a little ironic? The gas line just up and blew up. And it could be, you know, just mechanical. It could be just old. Things happen. It would just be ironic of the timing that it happened if it, if it was not sabotaged in some way. So the Russians, you know, kind of, eh, we had a satellite, got shot by something funny that went by it. Some people said it was a UFO. It was, I tell you, they got space weaponized, and you forget about the X-47B and the X-37B. They fly real up there, high up there, you know, at the edge of the atmosphere and space and everything. Well, you can guarantee your bottom dollar it wasn't a UFO that shot that. You can guarantee it was probably one of our space drones like that. Because all the sanctions that he put on Russia, that he was trying to damage them financially, I didn't do squat, but you blow up a $300 million satellite or, you know, rest assured it costs $100 million or more dollars for the satellite. Well, that's a little different than putting some sanctions on, you know, banks or targeted individuals and whatnot. But the point of this video was the corruption and how stupid they think that the people are. That we didn't know that these were captured for infinity until they decide to delete metadata and forget they got the metadata. We'll see how this comes out. <laughs>